Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome back to How to Build a Computer Tutorial Series. I'm here with Billy Chang from Dragon Discord Studios. Yo! And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started um, plugging in all the power cables and all the data cables to our computer, as we already have in all of our equipment. Also, as you notice, we don't have a CD drive. You could have a CD drive. It seems here that you just push it in, and these guys automatically lock. Yeah, but from what you told me, like we don't exactly need CD drives because we download everything. Yeah, CD drives are on their way out because now you can even install operating system through a USB. So you don't even need it. You don't even need a CD drive to <laughs> even install your operating system. And not unless you're writing DVDs and you're doing Blu-rays, then you might want one. But usually, you could just spend that elsewhere on other hardware. All right, so let me explain what I got going here. So these are all the modular uh, stuff from the power supply. And then there's this stuff. And then uh, this guy goes to the front I.O., like Billy said here. This is an Asus ROG um, product where basically you install all the stuff on here and then put it on the I.O. Because what you'll see is that your fingers are very difficult to push those things in there. And most of the time you'll need like needle nose pliers to get them even in there. And then you have the possibility of breaking pins. Okay, and then I'm you're sorry. I, I just had a, I suppressed this feeling, but I almost had to say, that's what she said, Joey. I almost had to say it from what you said there. Yeah, breaking pins? It's hard to push it in there with your finger. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, we also have our SATA, power, uh, SATA data cables. We're going to have one that goes to our uh, hard drive, and we're going to have one that goes to our SSD. And we're also going to use some of these guys to give power all the way to our SATA drives our SATA 3 drives. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to uh, the computer here and start uh, plugging in our essentials. So I'm gonna go ahead and put back on my static wrist strap on my left hand. Oh, hey Billy, can you help me out with this? <laughs> I should have probably said, please leave a like or something like that. Yes, yeah, so just go ahead and push the clip down. God damn it. There you go. I think it's easier to pull it out than to push it in. Okay. All right, so uh, now we have the uh, essentials here. We have the 24 pin. And what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to route it to where it stays as far away from any of our uh, air circulation as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in and it has one of these little expansion guys. Just make sure that guy's plugged all the way in. And then you have a clip here. The clip usually goes to where there's a bump. There's a little bump on the other side of the, uh, of the board there. You can't, you're definitely not gonna be able to see it. But uh, let me go ahead and just pick it up so you can see a little bit in there. It's got a bump right there, so I'm going to install it to where the clip is facing outwards. And let's go ahead and do that right now. Here, let me uh, show it overhead. Okay, so now I'm lining it up. Hey, they can't it's, see it because of your hand. It's pretty dark in there, too. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I can't even barely see. Okay, there we go. And we have a we have it clip, and we make sure the clip is all the way down over the head. And now we're good. Yeah, so you think, look at that. Looks so, like the pro is doing a pro job. Yeah, so now we're going to take this guy and we're going to route it underneath the uh, power cable to make sure it's under underneath the 24 pin. This guy is our 8 pin power cable and go ahead and show him over here, Billy. We have the 8 pin is this guy right here. Go a little further. Okay, so there's the 8 pin right here at the top. What I'm going to do is try to mount it around and see if I can get it underneath this fan, which I can. And see if I could get it. Actually, let, let's plug it in first, and then we'll see if we could route it around. Yeah, that sounds a little easier. So what we're going to do is just make sure that these guys, the two that the the two uh, clips are facing each other, and then you're just going to hold them together and look for where the clip is. The clip is facing the outside, which I just reach around and feel that. So I'm just going to go ahead and line these guys up. You might need to get a mo if you're using modular. You might need to get a new one because. Um, from what I hear, the modular ones are kind of short. The modular power supplies are kind of short. Yeah, some of the cables are a little short, but you can buy extensions for these. So you can buy some pretty nice extensions. All right, so there I go. I have it clipped in. Let's see if I can get it routed underneath this fan, which I can a little bit. Eey. You might need to use uh, some cable management, or maybe I could get it up and around the fan. Oh, that works. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Uh, it's a bit tight on the graphics card, though. Yeah, and see how we. But I'm probably going to need to do that. Cause see these? Those are where the CPU. Those are where these two fans are going to go. All right. This fan and this fan. Alrighty. So uh, let's go ahead and install the um, these I/O pins. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Show them again. I don't think I've got them. 
Yeah, those things. So the I.O. pins, and we have all our I.O. right here. And uh, Billy's going to grab the uh, the manual, the user guide there. Yeah, apparently. By the way, this manual looks thick, but I'm pretty sure it's only half of it's English. Nope, all of it's English. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, Billy's showing me, uh, go ahead and show him, Billy. Is uh, This guy right here is what we're going to need for the diagram, but it basically, as you see, it's printed on the side. So most likely you'll be able to figure it out as you see here. They're all printed there. That thing looks like you jab your finger or something. It looks like something you'd stick like a freaking. Uh, it looks like one of those things from like the future where you stick your head, the way that you stick into your neck, honestly. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got yeah, the little like, uh, out okay. of the box sort of thing going on. So let's go ahead and uh, this guy. You'll probably definitely want to make sure that these are all um, separate. Well, oh, yeah. Uh, make sure that they're routed the way that you want it to route. So we're going to look on here and we see that the first one that we come up to is a power LED plus and a power LED minus. So we're going to look on here and we have power ground, power LED. There we go. Power LED minus, power LED plus. Oh, you were saying how before they didn't have that and you had to do it by fingers. Yeah, you had to you put your finger down in here. So go ahead and show them, that to them, Billy. You had to put your finger down in there and put it on those IO pins down there. Which that sounds was, like a bitch. Yeah, which is a pain in the ass because as you see here, you gotta get it in there and then you might miss it. So that's what this guy is. So you could hot swap it very easily. So here I'm putting the power LED plus into the power LED plus, power LED minus. Does that also go with the hard CD drives and stuff like that? Which one? This thing? No, this just handles all of your, your front IO stuff. So here's the power LED to know that you're, you have it turned on. So here we have it uh, plugged in. And uh, now we're gonna look at another one of these strands and see what we got. So here we got uh, hard drive LED plus and minus. It's like a lottery. So hard drive LED plus and minus, you see up here at the top. So you also want, whenever you're doing the plugs, make sure that the hard, that the that the actual, where it's screen printed on there is facing outwards. So now we already have that guy plugged in. We're most of the way done. Then here we have uh, the reset switch. And here we have the reset switch here. So this is reset and then ground. So we're going to plug this guy in just like that. Now we have this final one here it looks like. This guy is probably going to be power switch, yep. And this guy just goes in there like that, right in the power switch. And I believe we don't have any speakers or 5 volt or anything like that, any of that other That's nonsense. That's for like, those are like, they're, those and, are talking about like the built-in stuff, right? Yeah, so like, you know, if you're, you're doing error codes or something. Okay, so now this guy looks like